in school, I was of the, I don't know, angry young man. Student. Sure, you were a so, rebel. Uh, I come out of anthropology. Yeah. So my focus is social systems. Right. And in science fiction, you got two branches. One is science. Yeah. And the other is social. Right. I'm much more of the 1984 kind of guy. Sure. And I am THX 1138. The, the, the spaceship guy. Yeah. The spaceship. I got into spaceships out of cars. Yeah. I love cars. I love going fast. Going fast. So, I like spaceships. Yeah. But it isn't the science, aliens, and all that kind of stuff that I get focused on. It's the, it's the how do the people react to all those things. And yeah. How do they accommodate them? Yeah. So that's the part that really fascinates me and I'm interested in. You did something very interesting with Star Wars, if you think about it. The good guys are the rebels. They're using asymmetric warfare against a highly organized empire. I think we call those guys terrorists today. We call them Mujahideen, we call them Al-Qaeda. When I did it, they were Viet Cong. Exactly. So yeah. were you thinking of that at the time? Yes. So it was a very anti-authoritarian, very kind of 60s against the man kind of thing yeah. nested or, deep inside a, or, a, a fantasy. Or a colonial, you know, we're fighting the largest empire in the world. Right. And we're just a bunch of hayseeds in coonskin hats that don't right. know nothing. That's right. And it was the same thing with the Vietnamese. Yep. The irony of that one is in in both of those, the little, the little guys won. Right. And the big, highly technical, Empire, the, the English Empire, right? the English the Empire, Empire, the American Empire, yeah. lost. Yeah, that was the whole point. But that's a classic: us not profiting from the lesson of history. Because you look at the inception of this country, and it's very—it's a very noble fight of the underdog against the massive empire. You look at the situation now, where America is so proud of being the biggest economy, the most powerful military force on the planet. It's become the empire, in the from the perspective well, of a lot of people around the world. It was the empire during the Vietnam War. And, but we never learned, you know, from England or Rome or, you know, a dozen other Empire, empires, empires that fall. went on for hundreds of years or yeah. sometimes thousands of years. We never got it. We right. never said, well, wait, 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 wait. This isn't the right thing to do. And we're still struggling with it. And they fall because of failure of leadership or, or, or government often. And, Mostly you know, it's... You have a great line which is, th so this is how liberty dies. To We're thund in the middle of it right now. To thunderous applause. Exactly. It's the po it's, you were, it was a condemnation of populism in a science fiction context. That's a theme that runs all the way through Star Wars. Yeah. I think science fiction is so good at these kind of social themes. Yeah, the great thing about Star Wars is I had a, a thing, I mean, a, a, a vessel that I could throw anything into. Yeah. But one of the biggest problems you have in science fiction with movies they don't have it in books or anything, but in movies, you have to create a real world. Yeah. And it's a real world that doesn't exist. Yeah. And you have to do what I, what Kurosawa used to say is, it has to have immaculate reality. Yeah. Even though it's not real. I like real. that term, yeah.